Sevierville, Tennessee. And it's a pretty good, pretty good pace from where we live. That means a long way. Yeah. <laughs> a long way. Anyway, it's, a, I don't know what time is it, 9.40 morning and we are in Knoxville at the moment on the interstate uh, what is it 40. I, I 40 I 40 and uh, I'm gonna pick up those uh, I'm gonna pick up last night uh, I found on marketplace this guy that was changing the color on his 1985 Chevy C10 truck from a red to uh, He's changing his color on his truck. Interior. Interior, yes. Thank you. So, it just so happens it's the same color as I'm looking for. I'm getting the dash pad and uh, door panels, wheel, well, molding, a dash, uh, instrument cluster, bezel, and seems like, oh, seat belts, and everything. So, I'm anxious to meet up with him, and I got to meet him in Sevierville. So he lives in Sevierville, but fortunately he's going to meet us near the interstate. So I'm not really familiar with Sevierville other than, you know, Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge. That's about all I know. So just thought I'd show you this beautiful day and how much traffic it is on this Sunday morning. Hey guys, we made it to exit 407 here in Sevierville, and uh, there is ambul there's an ambulance and there's a fire truck going around the convenience store here where you get gas, and the cops just pulled in here, so I don't know what's going on. When you live in a small town like, like we live, that's kind of... <laughs> I guess it's kind of a lot going on at one time. So I don't know what the cops were here for, but I think somebody must have had a health issue. I guess over there might have been the price of gas. I'm not sure. I'm just being funny, but they're trying to be funny. But anyway, I'm waiting on the people to show up with all the parts, and when I get them, I'll show them to you. But it's a beautiful day today. Oh, my goodness. And I want to tell you, the Lord... What? That's the Smoky Stadium baseball. Oh, that's the Smoky, Smoky Stadium? Yeah. Smoky Stadium where they play baseball. I, I didn't know that. All, all, huh? Oh, Mrs. P.I.B.'s wanting me to show you the leaves here. It, it's really pretty. It's a. Okay, I'll see y'all in a bit. Here he comes. Guys, I'm sitting here waiting for my friend to show up at the truck parts, and this young man came in. Pulling this 1931 Ford. Isn't she a beauty? I'll try to stand back where you can kind of see, see the whole thing. Got one wiper. You don't see these every day, and this one is really, really nice. I'm going to show you things that I can't see, okay? Really nicely done. Got an Ohio license plate on it. Of course, this is where you put your luggage, stuff like that, if you was, because they don't have a trunk, obviously. I haven't been around this kind of vehicle very much, so I've seen this pull in, and I've asked permission, could I do a video on it? And he said yes. So I'm going to show you this side. Maybe you can see better without the sun. Really nice car. Looks like an older restoration. 
but this is perfect perfect if you got something really nice or speaking for myself if you got something really really nice I get scared to drive it and this is this is really nice but I, I would like to drive this this is good enough like to you've seen so many or me being an older guy you know watching Bonnie and Clyde and you know stuff like that this is kind of a neat car anyway I'm going to show you the roof kind of a neat car I hope you appreciate me showing you this okay I'll get back with you on a few minutes it's a 31 Ford two-door pretty neat huh see y'all in the video. guys mrs. PIB and I are at great Smokies flea market or Smoky flea market or exit 407 flea market <laughs> Not exactly sure. I, we're not exactly sure I've asked people and I, I get different answers but I can Google it. uh, it's okay anyway I'm in a uh, Sevierville Tennessee just got done getting those parts and I'll show you them when I get home uh, anyway thought we'd stop here at this flea market I've never been here man it is crowded and it is Sunday I bet it's really packed on maybe Friday or Saturday This is my first time here, so. And you gotta be careful, you'll get run over. It's huge, this flea market is, so. You wanna go in first or look out here first? Let's look out here first, it's kinda nice now. It was really cold this morning, had frost, but it's warmed up pretty quick. Hang on. We're inside the building now. Oh man, that is so cool. Look at those Ford trucks, Chevy, Dodge, and Ford. That is really cool. I like that. Hey, yeah, that's a pretty neat little. Chevy truck, 68, 68 Ford, I had a 68 Ford in my younger days, oh thank you sir, that's just cards, thank you, I appreciate it. Man, that's a pretty Ford truck, isn't it? Hey, a 62 convertible. I had a Lincoln Continental just like this. Almost the same color, solid color. Mine was a 62. Anyway, I had one like that. I've had four like that. Actually, got a 66 Chevelle. Well, uh, oh, man, check out, that's a pretty Ford truck, isn't it? $105. That's pretty, though. I like that GTO. That's my favorite here, GTO 65. Chrysler 300. Well, I'm getting left behind. I gotta hurry. Hmm. Lost my wife, or she's trying to get away from me. I'm not sure. There she is. 
Find anything? Your favorite knife? Oh, that is a neat it's knife. It's a tomato knife. It is the best knife I ever owned. Won't you get one? I think I will. Who owns this department? Oh yeah, that's me. Oh yeah. Wasn't a whole lot on the inside of the flea market in our opinion. Nothing I was interested in. We stepped outside on the other side of the flea market. Had all these planes made out of uh, soda pop. Yeah, soda pop cans. Man, that's pretty neat. That Pepsi's doing the job. That one's kind of stuck. That'd be pretty neat to hang up on your, well, they got a little hook where you can hang it up on your porch, I guess. Yeah, I like it. Never seen one before, as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah, some little bean bags, ain't they? My opinion, sometimes the best things are on the outside of the flea market whenever we go because it seems like the people on the inside are kind of professional people, I guess. Best way to explain it. You know me, I'm looking for Chevy C10 truck parts. I ain't seen a one. I was hoping somebody might show up with something like that, but I guess not. Or not yet, anyway. Golly, I used to eat them sunflower seeds. Hey, how you doing? Fine, thanks. I used to eat them sunflower seeds, golly, every day, all day long. To me, I got addicted to them. I know that sounds crazy, but I did. Always had a mouthful of sunflower seeds. I like to never got off of them. I know that sounds crazy, but <laughs> it was a struggle for me. Uh-oh, she's found something.
Hey guys, I think we're fixing to get out of here. We've walked in the inside about half of it and it's just a lot of it's the same thing. So, but it was good just to get out and walk around a little bit. Anyway, it's a pretty big place if you've ever been here. I don't know, do we need some tomatoes? Okay, I guess we're gonna get some tomatoes. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're on our way fixing to leave the flea market here, and guess what? There's a square body Chevy. Looks like a 79, judging from the hood and the headlight bezels, but it's missing the same chrome. <laughs> missing the same chrome. I didn't ask permission, I'm just doing the outside of the truck. Different tailgate on it, I'm not gonna get the tag number. It's got bed chrome right there. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you this truck. I just thought it's kinda, they're still going around. Running around here, it's gonna get Mrs. Hey, hey, show them that umbrella. Y'all probably have several of these umbrellas, but this is our first time to get one of these umbrellas. And I thought it's pretty neat. My mom's a veteran, so we got the patriotic ones. Yeah, tell them what it, I uh, see you. Push oh, that button. push the button, yeah. Get away from that card. Yeah, and then, so then I when went, you're done with it, yeah, the water stays on the water. inside, and, yeah, and, just, and it will stand up and drip dry. Isn't why did we were talking amongst ourselves? Why didn't we think of that? Oh well, y'all's probably got several of them, but this is our first time to get one, so it pays to come out to we the haven't city. Been on this planet very long. <laughs> no, we haven't. She said we haven't been on this planet very long. Okay, see y'all in a bit. There's the Great Smoky Mountains. Just the beginnings. Yeah, that's just... There's where you go for helicopter rides. is Magic Quest. It's got dragons. Not sure. Oh my goodness. Oh. There's where we normally come in is on Where's Valley. Yeah. Lots of goat tr cart tracks around here. Lots of 
stuff for kids to do. Gas is three oh nine here. It's cheaper than where we live. Yeah, our gas is three nineteen. Yep, three yep. nineteen. If you've never been to Pigeon Forge, it's kind of like this right here. Crowded. Very crowded. They have a spring rod run and a fall rod run up here. Yeah, and you can't. If you ever find a parking spot up here in Pigeon Forge for the rod runs or the shades of the past, you better grab that parking spot and don't leave. Do just walk or bring your bicycle or scooter or something because if you lose your parking spot, you're out. You're out. Lots of hotels. Yeah. Hey guys, we're eating here at Cheddar's in Pigeon Forge. I'm trying to keep from tripping. Thought I'd show you this Corvette. Isn't this neat? Beautiful car, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen one up close. This is a Z06 Super Supercharged Z06 on the wheels. Pretty neat. Hey guys, we ate at Cheddar's and I meant to show you what we were eating. Not that anybody cares, but I had a really nice hamburger and fries and my wife had, Mrs. P.I.B. had a chicken Alfredo and she really liked it. She couldn't, it was such a big bowl of it or plate, she couldn't eat all of it. So I'm just sitting out here. She's shopping, which is something she likes to do. But I just wanted to show you how pretty the hills are. I'm in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, in case you forgot. But it's such a beautiful day. To be so cold this morning, it is really warm now. But we had to do that stupid, uh, I, we think it's stupid, time change where you fall back an hour, say like if it's three in the afternoon, it's now two in the afternoon which means it gets dark earlier. And uh, so you don't get near as much time in the evenings as you normally would. But anyway, this, I'm just gonna sit here on the bench and enjoy this beautiful weather and the, and the hillside. See y'all in a bit. lots of places to shop there's a nike outlet um all kinds Bur of burlington, burlington um, burks lots of good places to go and we got the sun in our eyes hey guys we made it back from a Sevierville pigeon forge tennessee where they have all the rod runs and then uh, in the fall they have shades of the past and the next week would be the rod run. I try to go to them sometimes, but I, I used to be a regular there all the time, but not anymore. I just kind of stick around home here. But anyway, 
I promised you I was going to show you what I got yesterday. Uh, we drove all the way to Sevierville. Uh, exit, I want to say 407. Anyway, this guy was changing the color on his uh, 1985 uh, Chevy truck. And uh, he's a real nice guy. Golly, I'm glad I met him. Uh, his name is, believe it or not, his name is Brian. So uh, I'd, um, I seen these on Marketplace and uh, wound up buying them. So, uh, and uh, this is this piece. Let me show you real quick. He threw this in. This is the piece that, not for this truck, but like for an 84, but you can see the difference in them. The, how narrow it is for like 84, 85. But uh, that would look great on left turn bill or something, wouldn't it? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm just showing you what I got. Please excuse this mess in the back of Billy James. I haven't got to it yet. Plan on doing that today. So, uh, I'm going to show you. Like I said, if you're not familiar with me and my channel, I'm into patina style. So this would be perfect. This is the piece that goes here. So he uh, he just threw these in. And I was tickled to death to get them. We drove a long way to get these. I'll just set them right there for now. Now my biggest dilemma is trying to figure out where am I going to put this stuff till. That's my biggest problem. Anyway, uh, one of the biggest ones. Uh, I got these wheel well moldings. <laughs> They're used, but once again, perfect. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, some kind of, looks like painter's tape. Looks like. Anyway, no big deal. I know you can buy all this stuff new, but like I said, I'm into patina style. So I got all this so far. And he threw this in. And Brian, if you're watching this, thanks again. Uh, hang on a minute and I'll show you this. Okay, guys, I got everything out of this little Scion XB. Man, this is a good little car. We drove it to uh, Sevierville and Pigeon Forge. And this thing does great. Gets good gas mileage. And also, it's, uh, it's kind of like I got to vacuum it out. It's got some dirt in there from the parts but it's it's kind of like having a dang uh, pickup truck we was going to drive the lincoln uh, mkz but i don't know you can get so much stuff in this in this thing it's really the the insides are a whole lot bigger than what you might think if you've ever had one of these you know what i'm talking about but man it's just a good little car and uh I told my wife, well, you know, I'd, if something gets scratched or something, you know, or, you know, you can lay these seats down on the Lincoln. I'm trying to take pretty good, pretty good care of it. Anyway, here's what I got. Uh, I got a a whole dash, but it's got a like a coverlay cover over it, which is fine. I don't mind. I've used coverlay products before, and they work out great. So uh, it's got a few imperfections, and the guy Brian I bought these from showed me and uh you know there's a little split you know there's a couple little pieces here that's you know not it's it's not perfect but if you seen the dash uh well i'll show you it's not on this truck but no i'm thinking about the 85 sorry sometimes i get mixed up the truck with no name that's what this one's going on i don't know why i said that Shoot, please forgive me sometimes i get confused uh, got this little uh, gauge bezel dash cluster bezel and he told me it's got a little split that's fine it, but the main thing is for me it's got the radio uh, you know the factory radio where the knobs would go I like that so probably going to use it because I think the one on the 85 well, that maybe, hey, I think this is the one, too. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Y'all, you, you got to forgive me. Sometimes I, yeah, that's the one. 
it should fit right in there so hopefully that's going to be a winner winner chicken dinner as they say so uh oh and i got all these seat belts so uh they're the same color there's that little bitty one yeah it's the same color as what you know pretty close to the ones i'm supposed to have in this truck but remember when i was at tim dixon's at gas x chop shop he's on facebook gas x chop shop uh we's going to swap the seat belts out of the wreck truck into this one but we couldn't get there was one bolt stupid spider there was one bolt i think it's an eight point and uh it broke and we couldn't get that one bolt out I, there's all isn't that the case it's it's always one that gives you the most trouble so anyway we couldn't swap them out i i said we'll just keep these blue ones in here you know i'm just maybe i'll just paint these or something or something might come up and i might be able to swap the seat belts but as you can see i've got a lot of pieces that's kind of missing us there's a lot to do on this truck but what beats me is i can't figure out the last couple of trucks i've got it's missing this piece and you know sometimes more chrome I, or not chrome but more plastic pieces i don't know it just baffles me anyway I did get all the seat belts. I just bought everything that Brian had, the guy that owned this stuff. And, uh, you know, none of my stuff is perfect. But, you know, if I had to, I think my wife was adding this stuff up. If I had to buy the dash pad, uh, dash covers, excuse me, and the door panels, it would have been more than what I gave for everything. Granted and true, all this stuff is used, but it's fine. I'll clean up this stuff and make it work. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I'm retired and, you know, on, on a budget. I mean, I just can't go out and buy things. There's another little split, but that's okay. This is the original dash pad. And, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty wore out. So it's, it's already glued on there. I, I asked him, I said, did the cover lay, whoever put the cover lay on, was it glued on? He said, yes, because I was kind of hoping it wouldn't, but it's okay. I'll take my old dash out of the 85 when it gets back home. It's still at the shop to get a transmission leak fixed. And uh, I'll put this one in. So it'll be okay. It's it's going to look, even with all these imperfections, it's going to look better than what is <laughs> than what is on the 85. I think with the new, you know, cover lay, you know, the whole dash being put in it, I think it'll make it look so much better on the inside. And uh, I'm thinking about, uh, I kind of got confused a little. Imagine that. Kind of got confused a little. But see this, uh, I might put this on the, put all this on the 85 and take the door panels off, off the, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might put these door panels on this one. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, it'd be kind of fun to sit around and think about. It kind of kind of matches the seat. I mean, everything's not going to be the exact same shade of red. But, I mean, I don't have a door panel. And that one's been painted. The interior used to be blue. And I'm thinking the guy that used to own this truck, Billy James, must have painted it red for some reason. I, I don't know. Or maybe, he, I don't know. I don't know the story on, on it, but it is what it is. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you how happy I am to get this stuff. And I just feel blessed beyond measure just to get this stuff here. Because uh, I was trying to... My wife kept telling me there was, I don't know, sometimes I think the Lord has a reason for, well, the Lord, the Lord does have a reason for everything, but uh, I kept asking my wife, I asked her three or four or five times, I said, did you order the cover lay dash cover? And she said, I'm going to do that. Well, she, she never did. And uh, I guess this was the reason why. So the Lord's in charge and he knows what he's doing and. 
and uh, as he does with everybody. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, I didn't mean to make the video real long, but I was just wanting to show you Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and Sevierville if you've never been there. And I know it's probably not much of a video, but my wife and I, we don't get out a whole heck of a lot. So, I mean, it was kind of fun just to get out of town for for a day and have some fun. Of course, wherever you go now, it's a whole lot of traffic and congestion. So I didn't really get to look around much because it was heavy traffic and I sure don't want to rear in somebody and was praying somebody wouldn't rear in me looking at their phone or something. So, but yeah, we had a good time. So appreciate you watching the video. I'm fixing to put all this stuff up somewhere and then clean out all this and put it somewhere. Most of it's trash, but we'll just see what happens. I'm sure there's... There's an exhaust manifold. There's a, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I have to sort through it. Okay. Hey, appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, we'll see what we can get done. And hopefully it'll all turn out good. Y'all stay safe. God bless y'all. Don't forget I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm going to try to get back on that one. I just haven't had much time to, uh, we hadn't really left the house very much. Been busy with personal things. So just the way life goes. Anyway, I have a second YouTube channel, Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best. Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all keeping up with my channel. And, uh, Hope everything's going well with you. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful. One of the rare days we're going to have, so I'm going to take advantage of it. I'll see y'all later.